Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I did a video yesterday talking about what PMDD is. So if you missed that video, go back and watch it. But I've gotten a ton of questions, a ton of feedback on this. So I thought I'd do a little continuation of that and talk about supplements. And this was one of the common questions I got. Oh my gosh, this is me. Wait, what are the best supplements I should take? Da, 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 da. Now, when you watch that other video, you'll learn, okay, it's not just one thing, right? I always talk about your health is cumulative. So this is something that I see so much all over the place. And it makes me absolutely crazy that there would be a just one supplement or maybe two or three that is going to fix all these issues. That's not a thing. That's absolutely not a thing. When we look at why women have these issues in the first place, our bodies, our health, the research is not done on our systems. We are set up in a male model, both nutritionally, exercise wise, medically, everything else is set up for the male body. Every single label that you look at is made for a 44 year old healthy male. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you're like, what? Yes. Yep. That's the thing. So make sure when you're looking at things for your health that you're getting the right things in. Now, when we look at PMS or PMDD, it is usually more than one thing, of course, that's going to be the end all be all whatever. If you want more information on how to eat for your hormones, your cycle, using your whole food nutrition around you know, your lifestyle, getting the right exercise in for your hormones, seed cycling, all of it. How do I fit this together? And how do I boost my metabolism with all of this? You need to be on the wait list for the 12 week challenge. I'll put a link right here in the comments. Hi, Linda. Um, so this is going to be something that completely shifts and changes everything for you. Being on the wait list for the 12 week challenge gives you more information about the 12 week challenge while I teach you how to work with your body, your system and really help with these things. Because to say, oh, it's just a, this, this is a supplement. Here you go. See you later. That's going to fix it. Uh, now you might notice I haven't written anything down yet. Wait, what's, what's the supplement? Which one's the best supplement? Yeah. Yeah. So super fun thing about getting the right supplements for PMS or PMDD and how this relates to your weight loss. There isn't one where I would just say, oh, this is a thing. Here are some core supplements where I say this is good for your overall health, right? This is health specific. These are general things, right? We're looking at, you know, probiotic. Why a probiotic? Do I need a probiotic? Yes. Short answer, yes. You know, uh, with all the food that we eat that's, you know, processed, not prepared correctly, all the other things, artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, they decrease your gut microbiome. So you need to add some back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you had cane, if you had candy canes with the, that were, had the artificial red coloring in it. Yeah. That's screwed it up. Yep. If you're chewing gum with aspartame in it, you're screwing up your gut. Okay. Probiotic a good multivitamin, right? Cover your bases. I eat whole foods, all organic, blah, blah. Great, great. If you're still having issues, you're not getting the right nutrients your system needs. If you're not sleeping well, if you're too sore after workouts, if you have PMS or PMDD, you need to be on a good basic multivitamin. The system that has these types of hormonal issues you already are fighting something. Your system is gonna have more inflammation. So just to say, oh, you know, I eat really healthy. I don't need to waste my money on a multivitamin. Your body's already nutrient depleted. So you do need to over boost those nutrients, right? That's just, that's just how it is. So good multivitamin, right? This is, I mean, there's, I could talk for hours on this, but so multivitamin, okay. Probiotic, multivitamin, vitamin D in the right amounts. This also is a huge immune booster if you're taking this in the right amounts and provides extra anti-inflammatory properties to your system. Not just, oh, I'm taking enough to, you know, not get rickets, <laughs> right? That's how, they, that's how they do things with labels. Like when you look at a label of something and you're like, oh, look, it says this percentage of vitamin C. That's so you don't get scurvy. Right? How many people do you know with scurvy? Yeah, I don't, I don't know anybody with scurvy, right? <laughs> that's, because, that's because we're getting enough vitamin C, right? But there's a lot of things with vitamin D that deplete the system. Vitamin D is also a 
hormone. And yes, your body can create it naturally, but guess what? If you are battling inflammation, if your hormones are already a mess, if your endocrine system is taxed, it has a hard time working properly. And unless you're getting outside and getting the proper amount of sunshine and rest every day, it's really tough to make and maintain the right amount of vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Probiotic, multivi multivitamin, vitamin D, fish oil. Unless you eat enough fish to get enough om omegas, take a fish oil. That's going to be essential. Hi, Katie. Um, and then my other one that I add in here is adaptogens. This is a group of herbs that help your body deal with stress. This is not, oh, take this one thing, right? These are basic core things for just health. Now, when we look at other supplements, and I'm going to put these, I'm going to write some down. I'm not telling you to take these. I'm not telling you to, you know, you know, say, oh, yeah, this is whatever, right? There's things like um, chaseberry. This is one. Dim is one of them. Any, any of these sound familiar to you guys, right? Um, oh, my gosh. There's also some yam supplements. Black cohosh, right? These are female supplements. Now, only if you have taken a Dutch test and know the exact pathway of where things are off, is it then safe to say, oh, take this, right? I have women that I work with that I, I mean, I had two phone calls today. One gal, <laughs> it was so funny. We were chatting about something and she was like, oh yeah. And I said, oh, this supplement would be really good for you to take based on what you have going on hormonally. And she said, oh, you know what? I was on that two years ago and I didn't know if it was doing anything. But now that I think about it, at that point, I was able to actually lose weight and make progress. And I was like, yeah, you should have stayed on it. But also knowing that some of these things, they can take eight to 12 weeks to work in your body, right? Some of these things, are you going to feel them work? No. Right? I mean, you might, your gut might feel better, right? But a multivitamin, if you're like, I feel amazing on my multivitamin. Really? No, you're covering your bases. <laughs> you're just getting the base nutrients that you need. Vitamin D, I don't get sick as much anymore. Hmm, that's awesome. Cool. Fish oil. I don't, maybe I don't feel as inflamed or my joints don't feel as achy. Maybe. Hmm, yeah, okay. Right? It's hard to really tell. Um, adaptogens are the only one if you're taking one specifically geared towards uh, emotional stress or work stress things like that sometimes you can feel those ones but these you know you have to upload them get them in your system and it's a cumulative effect yeah these ones you have to take for at least 8 to 12 weeks to really figure out if they're working for you or not so again this gal she was like oh, I didn't take I only she's like I got a bottle I took it I didn't notice if it was different and I just figured whatever so there we go right? I was like, yeah, a lot of women do that. A lot of women do that. It's all about getting the right thing for you though, because you should not be taking all of these. You should not be taking all of these at once. These do different things in the body. Yeah. Sometimes I recommend, um, you know, a grapefruit supplement. So, you know, so there's just, there's different things that are, that are really, really helpful. Right. And, and if you have different methylation issues, thyroid issues, other things like that, that really plays into how well your system is functioning in general and can lead to, you know, some other, the PMS or PMDD issues. So, so here's what I recommend. Well, first, if you are not on the wait list for the 12 week challenge, go in the comments, get on the wait list for the 12 week challenge. Um, you know, being able to work with you one on one and tailor and tweak a nutrition guide for you that is going to get you the right results and help you keep it is essential. That's the first thing. And then the next thing is to really look at your results. If you're wondering where you're at, you know, I have info on my website, um, to, to fill out a form so I can get you a Dutch test that tells you what to, that tells you exactly what's going on in your body. From that information, I can look at that and say, oh my gosh, you would need this one and this one 
don't take this one. I had another conversation with a gal. She was like, oh, I'm taking this one supplement. Uh, my neighbor said to take it. Da, 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 da. I was like, how long have you been taking it? She's like, oh, just a couple of weeks. But, you know, I, I figure it's, you know, it'll help. Da, 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 da. I was like, stop taking it. It's doing the exact opposite of what you need. She's like, well, but I'm having some hot flash issues and my neighbor took it for hot flashes. So I was figuring that's, you know, the same thing, right? And, you know, well, which, I mean, it would make sense. There's a lot of women who would do that. But once I went through her Dutch test results with her and I said, this is actually helping this problem get worse in your system. And the reason you're having hot flashes is probably completely different than hers. Yours is related to the stress that your body's under, how your body can't regenerate and the inflammation in your system, not just, oh, my estrogen's dropping and I'm actually going through perimenopause. And she's like, oh yeah, I thought I was a little bit young for that. I thought it was a little early. I was like, yeah, yeah makes a huge, huge difference. It really, really does. So what's the big takeaway? <laughs> what's the big thing here? Oh, I keep seeing this over and over again on social media. There is no one supplement that is like the catch all that is like, it's amazing. It's gonna, you know, make your hair grow and your skin brighter and your gut healthier and da -da -da. I mean, okay, sure. Yeah, maybe parts of those things help with all the other things. But you can't take a supplement and eat crap and not exercise and get amazing results. It's all of it. It's all cumulative. So that's why when I talk about supplements, this is for your overall health. This is baseline. This is like the foundational thing. In terms of building the right walls and the structure around it, that's some of the other things that are custom to you. From there, it, it makes a difference, right? And these are also supplements. So in the 12 week challenge, this is one of the things, a lot of times people focus so much on the supplements and, and I'll say, well, the nutrition and the whole food piece of it is actually a bigger part of it. So again, you can be taking all the right supplements. You can even be taking a customized supplement regimen for you. The right therapeutic doses, that's really important as well. Because if you've been on birth controls, things like that, your body is depleted in specific nutrients that affect how well your hormones function, how you feel, how well you heal and recover from workouts and things like that, and how fast you can get to your results. Yeah, so you need therapeutic doses of certain um, nutrients. But you can even have the, uh, the best customized, you know, protocol for you for supplements. But if you're not getting enough protein every day, it's not going to fix it, right? You have to do the work, all of the work and all of the areas. I know that's not a fun answer, is it? No, it's not fun, but it's the truth. And it's actually what's gonna work for you. So for women that have been trying all these things, I've been doing all this stuff, right? Women who've been really suffering with PMS or PMDD, and you're really struggling with your hormones, and you're like, oh, my body's just reacting differently. Oh, I feel like garbage. I, you know, I'm sore, I'm achy. Ooh, is that tied into it? I'm having all this heartburn or I'm constipated, you know, all these other things. It all matters. Stop going around and trying little bits of other things and really find what's right for you. So again, I do like to do a Dutch test. It gives me pages of information on you and what's going to be the right thing for you. And then I actually mix that in with your nutrient guide and the right type of movement and stuff for you to start with. We do all that in the 12 week channel. So again, link is in the comments. But the other thing that this is gonna do for you is just stop guessing. Stop, you know, throwing whatever up against the wall to see what sticks. That's not a good way to go about your health. It's really not. You know, that's an experimental thing that's gonna leave you frustrated and often stuck in a place for a really long time. Yeah. A lot of times women will say, oh, I'm not sure that this is, you know, the right next step for me. I'm nervous that I'm going to fail on it, right? A lot of women think that oh, I, nothing else has worked for me or I've never stuck with anything. I don't think I'm going to stick with this and it's an investment. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm nervous to spend that kind of money on myself again because I typically don't stick with things. Well, here's what I have for you is that if you've done other programs, other protocols and not stuck with it, is it because you really just didn't do it or did you start doing it and then notice, well, maybe something's changing. Uh, I don't know. Or get to a point where you just didn't feel good 
and you couldn't maintain it, right? Oh, you sure? Well, I was losing weight. I lost like 15 pounds, but my cycle got super messed up and I had all these other issues and my hot flashes got worse and all that other stuff. Yeah, that happens for a lot of women. In those cases, you didn't fail. You were on the wrong protocol. You weren't doing something that was custom. You weren't doing something that was working with your body. You were trying to fight against your system to force it to do something that's not designed to do. So in that case, I would say it's not your fault, right? It's not, it's not about you failing. It was about you starting something and trying something that was really not the right thing for your body or your system. And the 12 week challenge is built for women. I only work with women. It is only for women. I actually have men that reach out and ask me if they can, if I can, I'm like, no, <laughs> cause I don't work with men. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's funny. Like why? Like I don't, you know, sometimes they reach out and they're like, how come you only cover women's health? Cause I do. I don't, well, you should cover men's health. Okay. Nope. Not gonna, no, <laughs> that's not, you know, I could, but I don't because women need this information. There's not enough out there for us as it is. So yeah. So if you're worried about being ready, if you're worried, if you're like, Oh, I'm such a mess. Maybe I should do this other thing first and then I can get ready. Oh, maybe I should do a whole 30 and at least clean things up and then I'll be ready. You're only getting a part of the puzzle there still too, right? You have to have the right nutrients, the right food and the right supplements for your system. You have to have all of these things working at the same time for you to help you move forward, especially when you're in a place where you are really suffering at certain times of the month and you can't make progress. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know your questions. I so, so appreciate all the feedback that I got from the video I did yesterday on PMDD. If you have other things that you have questions on, or if you're like, Hey, so-and-so said that, you know, this was a thing, uh, you know, is it, or what, what about this? Let me know, shoot me a message. If you want to know more about, um, Dutch testing, I have more info on my website for that. And then, um, of course the link for the 12 week challenge, um, Oh, there's so much good stuff on that wait list. I'm so excited about it. All right. Other resources. My book, The Female Fat Solution. I talk about nutrients and food that matches your hormones in your cycle to regulate that here. This is on Amazon. My podcast is The Female Health Solution. I cover more in-depth stuff there um, and really talk about health in a, in a little different angle on my podcast. Uh, and then I have a YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. So if you missed the video from yesterday and you don't want to scroll through Facebook, just go to my YouTube, Dr. Beth Westy, subscribe, and you can catch those videos there as well. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Share this message with somebody who you know needs it because a lot of women need more information about how our bodies work because we're just not told. So hope you have a great rest of your night. I will see you later.